Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Janice. Um, I'm a Thermomix consultant. Um, we do like to talk about how the Thermomix can save you time and money, but there are other things it can do for you. Today, um, I'm out of jam. Now because I've just had a birthday in my family and we made a strawberry cheesecake, I have got a, a punnet of strawberries that, uh, that are left over. So I'm going to make a quick jam. So it is um, a punnet of strawberries, and I don't know if you say you husk them or you hull them, but whatever one it was, that's what I've done. I've taken the that little bit of stem and the leaves off it, and so that's a, a punnet of strawberries, 250 grams. And then they, um, when you're making jam with things like strawberries that have no pectin, you need to add something that has pectin in it. You can buy the pectin sugar or you can buy just pectin and add it. I try not to use, um, I don't know what you'd call it, fake pectin or supermarket pectin when I'm making jam. So you can also use lemons or green apple. Green apple is, um, has got quite a bit of pectin in it. So I've got two small green apples, um, a single green apple, like regular size green apple is usually around 200 grams, um, but this is two little ones, and I'll just see how much they weigh. Um, what's that? That's 124 grams, right here. We're going to add 120 grams of sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla paste. So I've made this vanilla paste myself using the, um, the Thermomix. Hang on, I need a spatula. Okay. All right. I'll, um, I'll link the recipe down below for the vanilla paste. Vanilla bean paste. All right, go. Now, so it's just four ingredients. We'll put the lid on. Back to the beginning, and what do we want? Oh, so we're just going to cook it. Um, Eighteen minutes. Um, Varoma temperature. And what we'll do is, we'll, because we're going over a certain temperature, we're going to put the um, measuring bowl in place and then just on speed one. So, right here, I'll leave that to cook. Um, when you get to the end of the 18 minutes, you have a look. Um, you can test the jam to see if it's setting. Um, and you can cook it for a bit longer if you want to, but we're going to start off with 18 minutes. So right here, I'll be back when I'm ready to test it. Uh, right, that's our first 18 minutes up. Um, I'll just, hang on, I'll just press. If you want it to stop talking, you can just tap the screen and it'll, it'll stop um, binging. So, um, okay, so that's going to be warm. That's our jam. And um, we can blend it a bit, but it usually the heat um, breaks the apple and the strawberry up sufficiently, so it'll give you a nice chunky jam. I'm going to grab a, a saucer out of the freezer, and we'll just test it on the saucer. actually see that that's, that's quite thick um, so we don't need to test it but I'm going to do it anyway so if that was runny you would just let it um, settle for a few minutes
and then um, it'll sort of form a little bit of a skin and when you push it like that with your finger, the skin will wrinkle. So, but we can actually see that that is, I mean, that's really hot jam. So, I mean, it, it is thick enough. So what I've done is I've got um, a couple of bottles in the oven heating up to 140, don't know what I'm saying, 100, 100 degrees. So I'll grab them out and um, I'll have to get something to put them on. So right here, I'll get the, a board and everything, I'll get the jars out and then I'll be back. Right here, so I've got a couple of bottles. I don't know how much I'll need. These are about 190 ml, these bottles. So, uh, and they're hot. I don't know if you can see that. get the rest of that out um, but how quick and easy is that um, for delicious homemade jam and I'll just don't know do you taste jam like this it is quite hot so it'll get quite a fair bit thicker than that So that is delicious. Um, the vanilla bean, the vanilla bean paste, it really comes through that beautiful vanilla flavour and it's all full of fresh strawberries and I mean the smell is amazing. So that would be something amazing to pop on your table for an afternoon tea, you know, with your buttermilk scones and everything else you've created in the Thermomix. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I will put a link to this um, recipe down below. And I'll also put a link to the recipe for the vanilla bean paste. Anyway, if you liked the video, um, you want to give it a thumbs up. Maybe you can pop over to my channel and subscribe. And I really hope I'll see you for the next video.